I am your father. Shit, kiss. Shit, kiss. Good film. Good plot armor. Good scene to put in there. I don't even care you cop that on Star Wars. Good shit. Disney Pixar is undoubtedly the biggest creator of animated movies and cartoons in the world. But would you believe me if I told you that one of their best movies might actually be a blatant copy? Inside Out, Brain Divided. Well, if you were born in this century, you definitely mm -hmm. know that Inside Out, released in 2015, is one of Disney's biggest hits in recent years. And I was just saying that didn't copy other movie, but didn't make it better than what the ordinary Disney movie be. They make it better, they make it awesome, and make so much money off it that it'd be a big hit. Inside Out 2 only proved that the legion of fans of this masterpiece has been growing over the years. But what if I told you that an animation released in 2013, two years before in- Have y'all seen this animation in 2013? Tell me how it is. Inside Out has almost everything that Pixar's film has. Would you believe it? The animation mm, tells the story maybe of not. on a date, and we are taken inside his not, mind not right two now. little beings representing reason and emotion, who look a lot like the emotions from Inside Out, operate a control panel and see everything through the guy's eyes. This is definitely very similar to the movie about Riley and her emotions. The thing is, this animation, called Divided Mind, is only five minutes long, so it's not a full movie. But, for mm. example, the scenes where we are taken inside people's minds are very similar to what happens in Inside Out as well. So it really makes you wonder if Disney might have been inspired by this short film to come up with some ideas and end up creating one of its best animations of all time. They, they have of to. Of course, they're going to deny it forever, but you never know. They, right? they might deny it, but they Disney have to. might have copied another film that you probably never noticed. Coco, right, let's see Life. Eight. Anyone who watched Coco and followed Miguel's story definitely enjoyed the film released Coco. by Disney Pixar Flash in 2017. The story is set in I'll Mexico, like features nine point five and is entirely related Boy, to movie. the country's most important holidays the day of the dead the thing is after many people watched the movie and some time passed a lot of them realized that there was actually a movie released three years earlier with a different story but a lot in common with Jesus shit talk about you when I've been in school right we had this Spanish class and I watched this movie called you know the dead and that movie was so classy and then when Coco came out I didn't realize that Coco and in of the dead were actually similar. I don't know. Hmm. So, called The Book of Life, the movie by 20th Century Fox, which was soon after acquired by Disney, tells the story of Manolo, who also plays the guitar very well, and like Miguel, visits the land of the dead in a very Mexican style. So it's pretty clear that Disney once again took a great idea and made it even better. Hola, Miguel. Hola. Toy Story, Star Number Wars. Seven. Disney didn't just copy entire seven. movies, they also drew inspiration from some of cinema's most iconic scenes to create hilarious moments in their fa films. One of the coolest references happens in Toy Story 2. This is the movie where several Buzz Lightyear figures come out of their boxes and one of them has a showdown with Buzz's arch nemesis, Zerg. The villain then tells Buzz to surrender, but the hero says he'll never do that because Zerg killed his father. You killed my father! Then Zerg reveals that he is Buzz's father. I Shit, kiss. Shit, kiss. Good film. Good plot armor. Good scene to put in there. I don't even care you cop that on Star Wars. Good shit. Ah, to the iconic Star Wars scene where Luke Skywalker faces Darth Vader, and the villain reveals that he is actually Luke's father. I am your father. I don't know about you, but I laughed a lot when I saw this scene because it instantly reminded me of Star Wars. 
Toy Story is just too good. If you agree with us, comment below, hashtag Buzz, in honor of the most famous Space Ranger toy of all time. If, if you like it, Madagascar. Comment, list, comment on Toy Story. You like Toy Story. List, you'll certainly notice that Disney Number six. often copied and sometimes even improved upon its competitors' all right, work. This one, like they did uh, inside it's going to be crazy. As we just discussed. But that doesn't apply to every film we're discussing here. Without a doubt, Disney's poorest attempt at imitation is The Wild, released in 2006. This animation is so lackluster that you might be wondering, what film is this? Well, it's about yeah. a group of animals living in a New York City zoo who embark on a very special adventure. Among them is a lion as the main character and a somewhat timid giraffe. Yes, it seems like I just described the entire plot of Madagascar, one of Disney's biggest competitors in a franchise that started a year earlier in 2004, right? with Alex and Melman as two of its main characters, because that's basically what it is. Wild is a much more inferior copy of Madagascar, which itself was a hit and spawned two sequels, while Disney's film is nearly forgotten. And those who do remember it don't speak highly of it. Have you seen this Disney imitation? A one, a while, no one really was saying the wild were a good movie. But would they say it was terrible? No. Would they say it was on a peak? Maybe. Alright? But everybody all remember Madagascar. Madagascar 1, 2, and 3. Everybody would say said everything about Madagascar would tell you anything what happened to Madagascar. Now if it comes in the wild, you wouldn't hear a lot of people say anything about in the wild. Godfather. If you're into Disney movies, Zootopia. you've probably seen and are a fan of Zootopia. You might also right. remember Mr. Big, that tiny rodent who's the most feared animal in all of Tundra Town. If your parents and grandparents yeah, told I, you, I you, you might not know that Mr. Big is nothing less than a copy of the greatest mobster in cinema history, Don Corleone from The Godfather, the Italian mafia boss who rules the underworld. In fact, if you recall, when Nick and Judy meet the little boss, he's at his daughter Fru Fru's wedding wearing a suit with a red flower on his chest. That's exactly how Don Corleone is dressed in the beginning of the first Godfather film, and also at his daughter's wedding. This is definitely a copy that turned out very well. Cars, including its own. Well, it's true. If what? you think Cars and Lightning McQueen are the first cars with their own lives to have their story uh -huh. told in the world of animation, then you haven't heard of Susie, the little blue coupe. The animation released in 1952 by Disney itself tells the story of a blue female car bought by a man who treats her well, but eventually abandons her as she becomes old and outdated. The way cars and vehicles are depicted in this short film is remarkably similar to what we see in Cars 1, 2, and 3, where when she I'm confused on one thing here. ...serve his eyes and hoods his mouths. So it's safe to say Pixar drew considerable inspiration from this Disney short from the 1950s to create one of the most incredible and imaginative film franchises of all time. If you've made it this far into the video, you must be like us, enjoying cartoons and animated films. So don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel here because we have new videos every day. Toy Story, Jurassic Park. It seems Toy Story 2 is an animation that decided several iconic scenes to create its film. Toy Story do be draws a lot of released in recent years, depicting a park on an island inhabited by genetically created dinosaurs as attractions for the general public. What you may not know, depending on your age, and three point five years ago, Jurassic still... Park and Toy Story were on the peak. So I don't blame Toy Story for still something from Jurassic Park started with the famous Jurassic Park. Now, regarding Toy Story 2, you might not realize that the scene where Mr. Potato Head looks in the rearview mirror of Barbie's car and sees Rex chasing them is a perfect replica, but with toys of the most famous scene from Jurassic Park where the film's protagonists are fleeing oh. from a Tyrannosaurus Rex chasing their Jeep. Alright, that, that was clever. That, that was King, clever. Kimba. Some have seen the original Lion King film released in 1994, Aye. and others have seen the 2019 live action version. But in both cases, everyone was moved. After all, Mufasa dies in both. So if you're also yeah, a fan Mufasa of Lion King, die. you might and not that, like to hear that the, the film story was likely inspired it's, by a manga It's sad to see how Mufasa died by his brother. If you all realize, Mufasa wouldn't really support to be king. He wasn't, right? It really was supposed to be Scar. Like, if you all watch that, Scar was really supposed to be king, right? 
But Miss Foster was the one who boosted and bumped away from Scar and became king. And Creep Part Valley, Scar isn't Miss Foster blood brother. I anime from Japan called Kimba the White Lion. And if you don't believe believe it just take a moment to consider how yeah. similar the names kimba and simba are it's hard not to start mm -hmm. thinking that there's something remarkably similar between the two cubs who are heirs to a wild kingdom are the protagonists and must prove their strength certainly the stories bear a striking resemblance but this is one of those cases where disney undoubtedly took a good idea and turned it into something truly truly great after all the lion king is unquestionably one of disney's best films and it's anyway, so good that we'll soon have a uh, don't forget to watch the cartoon version of lion king and the actual movie version of lion king check it the movie version of the cartoon version is chef kid Perfect. Have a film about Mufasa too. Ratatouille, Rocky. To wrap up our scenes from classic, historic, and very good movies, we can't forget to mention the reference to the boxing film that changed how Hollywood views fighter movies. Rocky. What's even funnier is that Disney decided to reference this iconic character, yeah. character in a film that's completely yeah. unrelated, but all about cooking, Ratatouille. When Remy is in the kitchen with his rat friends at Gusteau's restaurant, we see a big strong rat tenderizing a piece of meat with its paws, just like a boxer. This scene is a nod to the iconic moment in Rocky, where Rocky, unable to afford training in a fancy gym, uses sides of beef in a meat locker to practice boxing before his big final fight. It's definitely a cool reference, especially for those who enjoy good old movies like me and the first.